<laughs> All right, so welcome Sharon Thormalin to Virtual Heart Summit Three. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our preview. We open next week, and you have an amazing array of things that you're offering on Virtual Heart Summit 3. You have your workshop, which we're going to chat about. You have your house concert. Uh, we get a visit to your actual heart building workshop. You know, it's just all so good. Yeah. So, and we might have a chance to meet Dave uh, in a little while. Um, coming in the door and uh, your partner in crime and art <laughs> and everything else. So, yeah, yeah. Really pleased to have you here with us. Um, and we were just checking in because you're actually coming live from Oregon right now. We were just checking in, making sure that, you know, you're safe. And because I know right now there's a lot of fires, but fortunately uh, you're, you're doing pretty well. Yes, we are. Here comes the dog. Yay! <laughs> Let, let's show the dog. Let's show the dog. Whoops. Uh, All right. Hi, dog sorry. right here. Hey, Sunny. Oh. Come here. Come here. Oh, well. Love, love. We, we oftentimes get uh, pets visiting on the Facebook Live, <laughs> so it's very cool. Quit my email program so I don't get any more beeps. <laughs> Great. Oh, and the cat coming in, too. I love it. The menagerie is here. <laughs> yeah. Well, animals, animals really like the harp, especially harp cases. Yes, that is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Sharon, your website is thorharp.com. And I really recommend people uh, go check out all the amazing things that you're doing because really, you know, you do do it all. Uh, you are a performer, an arranger, a builder. You've got it all going on. A teacher? Yes. So, Yes. So, yeah, I really recommend checking out ThorHarp.com. And for this Virtual Harp Summit, our theme is arranging, improvising, and composing. So I want to remind everybody that we go live September 14th to the 21st, but you need to get your ticket in order to attend. And each summit has its own ticket. So even if you've registered in the past, be sure that you register now as well because you do not want to miss miss out on the amazing stuff that Sharon is sharing with us. So um, Sharon, I think many, many harpists know of you and your work, but could you, could you tell us a little bit about yourself just for people who might not know? Well, a little bit about myself. Well, I started playing music when I was 12. I had, um, I was at my mother's cousin's house and uh, there was a guy playing the guitar. And I just looked at that and I said, oh, I want to do that. And so she gave me lessons. And that was really a great thing. I would come home from school every day and play guitar until I had to go to bed. And then later in my 30s, I learned to play the bass, the stand up bass. And for those people who have been either to Southeast Harp Weekend or Somerset, oh, maybe Ohio as well, I was played the bass with Frank Volz. We did the Frank Volz Trio. And then, um, then I learned to play the harp in uh, my 40s. And I've been playing the harp ever since and just love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the harp, you can actually start at any age. You really can. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's such a beautiful instrument and oftentimes less is more with the harp. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, for your workshop, let's chat about that for a second, because I have your amazing handout right in front of me. Um, you go through in great specificity um, how to make an arrangement um, on multiple levels. So there's actually three levels that you address. So here's your level one, and you have all these ideas spelled out very, very clearly and beautifully. And so that's a two pager right there. The next thing you know, here you are on level two. So you're, you're kind of upping the ante a little bit in terms of the, uh, the density, the texture. And then you actually bring in level three. So this is a very, very complete workshop that people can enjoy. And not only that, um, you actually have a whole elements of arranging page here. And you can, this is like, I mean, honestly, this is, is pretty much years of fabulous information to just dive back into again and again. So I really want to thank you for, 
offering such an amazing workshop. You're welcome. I yeah. love doing it. Yeah. yeah. So um, so where do you get your interest in arrangement? Because um, I think some people are feeling, you know, that they are maybe a little intimidated to make their own arrangements or they only want to play other people's arrangements. What kind of got you into making your own? Oh, that is a good question. You know, I think it's just, for me, a matter of necessity. It's just kind of what I do. Uh, when I was playing guitar, I was writing songs, uh, not so much on the bass, but it's just something that I've always done. And um, just making something my own mm -hmm. is how it comes around. Yeah. Making it something that I can play. Definitely, definitely. That makes so, sense to me. Yeah. yeah. So Susan's coming in. Hello from Boston. Nice to meet you, Sharon. Looking forward to your yeah. amazing yeah. workshop. Things up on the on the screen and yeah. yeah. So so for people who are watching us live, feel free to make your comments now. You have an opportunity to chat with Sharon live. So this is a great opportunity. And uh, just type your comments into the comment section, and we will be able to find them. Something that was really beautiful about your workshop is just what you were saying, that you make arrangements that suit yourself, that suit your style, that suit your way of playing. And so uh, they really make it e easier to play, should we say. So whoop, I think you're just frozen. So while Sharon comes back, I want to tell you just a little bit more about the workshop you can expect to see from her. Um, she has a, a workshop, then the beautiful handout that I just showed you, actually a seven pager, which is fabulous. Then house concert with Dave, who is her partner and husband, just a gorgeous concert they put together. And we do see an appearance by the dog. And then we do a workshop tour. So one of the new features. Oh, I lost you for a minute and now you're back. Yeah, Did yeah. you even know? I did know. So I was just telling everybody about the, the workshop visit that you do uh, with, with Dave. Um, also, your literal teaching workshop, the handout and the house concert. And I mentioned that the dog shows up on that yeah. one as well. <laughs> Such a charming house concert. I just love how oh, immediate you. everything is. Yeah, we had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was right before you went off on some some hiking trips. Or we, we just spent seven nights in the Sawtooth Mountains backpacking in Idaho. It was just unbelievable, beautiful. Dave's a geologist, so he reads maps really well. He reads the, uh, the landscape really well. And we go off on these cross-country day hikes. Wow. That are, you know, we don't even know where we're going and what we're going to do, but we see amazing lakes. We go swimming in the lakes. It's freezing cold, but we just love it. And the views, it's just amazing. Wonderful. Is that uh, an inspiration to you for your art? For well, I actually have a whole book called Moon Over the Mountain that was uh, inspired by backpacking trips. In fact, the cover is a picture of us at uh, Jeff Park at Russell Lake. Wow. And is this something people will be able to find on your website? Oh, yeah. And they find, okay. Because you have a whole bunch of books, actually. Yeah. yeah. How many do you have? I think there's 16. 16. <laughs> That's off to you. Wow. Yeah, there's about <laughs> five, five or six original books. A couple of um, Christmas books, a Jewish book, some traditional books, one a very beginner book called Dance Through the Music. I highly recommend that to anybody that wants to learn new, a whole bunch of new tunes right quick. Yeah. Uh, there's and some, some duet. Yeah. And you have recordings, I think, as we well. Do. We have actually Dave and I have one recording called Live at the Harp Shop. It wasn't it's not exactly a live performance, but we did it as if it were in some ways, you know, we didn't do a lot of overdubbing or anything, but um, yeah. Yeah. Lovely. So beautiful. And then at Thor Harp, can people also see all the harps that you have that you built? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I really recommend people go over, check that out. I have a lot of fun looking around. I think there's a little movie that shows how a harp is built. That's right. 
Yeah. So a lot of good stuff there on your site. And I really like the name too, Thor Harp. Yeah. <laughs> Very powerful name. Yeah. <laughs> we were calling ourselves Thorharp.combo. Ah. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, you really are a partnership, you know, on, on so many levels, as I said, you know, and that's really coming through on your um, workshop visit on the house concert. It's just a wonderful thing. Yeah. Yeah. So for people who are live with us, I'm wondering if you have any questions for Sharon. This is your chance to speak with her live and uh, just type your comments below. And uh, let's see, we have Andrea. Oh, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Great. <laughs> she has a Thormalin. <laughs> yeah, she says, I love my heart from Thormalin so much. Uh, so special to have something for, from Corvallis, which is the town you live in, in Oregon, here in Texas. So, well, welcome, Andrea, I hope you're safe in Texas. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So um, your harps have gone all over the world. In fact, you told me that you have one even in Cyprus. Yes, we do. Cyprus, Greece. Yeah. So Cyprus is a, it's an island. You have been, right? Yeah. 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 I, I spent all of high school there. So oh. that's how I became really interested in Greek music and Balkan music, Turkish, Middle Eastern. And uh, yeah, it was, was from living there. So your harps are going far and wide. Yes. <laughs> so how many harp models do you actually have? Five. We Five. have Swan, the uh, Signet, and the Claire. And those three are all solid wood harps. This one's not a solid wood harp. but um, And then we have the Serenade and the Kaylee, which are the laminates. The Signet and the Serenade are the same shape. And everything about them is the same except one's laminate and one is solid wood. Mm -hmm. And the Claire and the Kaylee are the same way. They're the same shape, one's solid, one's laminate. Okay. So the laminate ones are, you know, in the $4,000 range. The uh, solid wood ones are in the $6,000 range. And um, we've tried to make a harp that is affordable with the Kaylee, and I actually love the Kaylee. It's what I play on. I perform with it. I love it. Yeah. And it's very light. It yeah. is, about 18 pounds. Mm -hmm. yep. Wonderful, yeah, yeah. Because actually one of our, our viewer requests from last time was to have a harp gallery where people could see all the different types of harps that are available and start to understand that um, there are many sort of smaller harp builders who are actually incredibly prolific like you guys. Um, they're out there and they are making beautiful harps, but perhaps, you know, you don't see them in, in all of the festivals. And so we wanted to raise awareness. So we have your workshop visit. And then Beth Collet, uh, she is giving her workshop and house concert on one of your harps. Yes, she is. She got one yeah. maybe a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. And Dave makes about 50 harps a year. Mm. So Prolific. yes, he is. So we're, we are one of the smaller, shops in terms of it's just Dave and we have one other worker uh, that works with us and um, they are amazing out there. Yeah, definitely. We're not a, we're not a factory. It's just in our yes. home, our backyard. We have a shop that they built. I really appreciate that. Yeah, because, you know, my, my harps are made by, um, you know, independent makers as well. And I just I feel the love and care that yeah. goes them. It's very, very special. And so Sharon Altrigy is saying there are three of us harp students here in Southeast Michigan who love our Kaylee harps. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sharon. Yeah. So your harps really have made it all over the world. And, and now I'm really excited to share your teaching all over the world. I know you traveled a great deal in North America with your teaching. Um, and now we'll get to go everywhere. So I really, I love being able to share our community this way. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Amazing. It's it truly is. <laughs> <laughs> it truly is amazing. It amazes me on a daily basis. You know, yes, I just had an email from somebody recently from Alaska that said, I, I think her harp teacher must have moved. And so she had no harp teacher. She sold her harp and she thought she was done. And then she discovered she could do lessons on Skype. And yes. so she's getting a new harp. 
and she's going to do that. So it just opens yeah. up so many things. It really does. I mean, people do not have to give up their dream. And, and it's just this little piece of information they need to know. You can have Skype lessons. Boom. Yeah. And they're back in the game. Yeah. I'll have to email her yeah. and let her know about this. Make sure. Yeah, she's definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And actually, yeah, thank you for reminding me. Um, anybody who is watching and enjoying this, please like it. Please share. We do go live next week. We run free for an entire week, but then we are shut down um, unless you purchase the all access pass. So we do want people to know right now and sign up and register. So let me and give I, you. I purchased the all access pass from um, last year or the year before, maybe both years. And I loved it because then I could. I could be cooking dinner or whatever and have it on my iPad and watch while I'm doing other things. That was great. I, I was so proud to see your name come up on the list. I was like, oh, that feels so nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Worth it. Oh, thank you. And it is actually, you know, a fabulous way to retain the information, to be able to listen to it over and over again. And, um, you know, we keep recycling uh, the income that we do make from the all access passes into making virtual harp summit better each time. Yeah. So this time we're actually adding subtitles to all the workshops, oh, subtitles great. in English. Yeah. Yeah. So that people, yeah, it's kind of a gargantuan task, but, um, so worth it because we want people to be able to catch every word. And, and we have a lot of viewers for who, you know, English is not their first language. And, and just when people are speaking in general, you can miss a word here and there, which might be very important. So adding the subtitles in is a brand new feature that people are going to get to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Janice is saying, I own a Gemini. Oh, that's one of our double harps. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's actually a great name. Cyprus is a double harp. Really? Yeah. I have to find out who has that. That's just incredible. Gorgeous. That's such a great name for a double harp as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we yeah. don't really make them anymore. Uh -huh. we, uh, yeah. You, yeah. You'd really have to talk us into making one if you wanted one. But. <laughs> Well, so just to recap, um, Sharon, you have a wonderful workshop coming up on the elements of arranging. And just to remind everybody that you uh, you walk through how to arrange Start the County Down, which is, you know, one of my favorite Irish songs. Actually. Yeah. My whole family is from the County Down. And um, you arrange it on multiple levels so that people can pick and choose uh, how to how to kind of make a song intensify as it goes on because I find a lot of people are getting confused about, you know, how do I make repeats interesting? Mm -hmm. Because folk songs, you know, we don't generally just play them through once and that's the end of the song. You know, we right. play it multiple times, maybe five, six times through, you know, and how to keep that interest going. You've got tons of ideas going in your workshop and you're, you're sitting there with that very harp and showing us how to do it. Yes, yeah, lots of ideas, which is more than you want to put in your arrangement. But oh, right, mechanic, yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, Sharon and Dave are best. Kathy in Washington D.C. I've got a bunch of thormelins. Yay! Yes, an entourage. <laughs> I love it, like a, a forest of thormelins around you. And so then that is something that you do emphasize a lot in the workshop. You're like, these are all a bunch of ideas, but don't stick them all in one right. song. Yeah, it's actually too many ideas. Too many ideas. Which is a good thing. Um, because then you can apply it to many other songs as well. And then this is your amazing worksheet full of uh, just endless ideas, melody ideas, bass line, rhythmic variations, dynamics. I mean, it goes on. So um, I definitely encourage people to show up for your workshop. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a great time. Yeah. Yeah. So again, your workshop is called The Elements of Arranging. And yeah, that is what we have to look forward to. So yeah. any last minute questions or comments from anybody? And we will wrap up for today. I really appreciate your showing up here, Sharon. I know you just got back from your trip. Uh, yes. Yeah. And I got back to an, a garden that was just basketfuls of uh, tomatoes and green beans and today I cooked up 
broccoli and cauliflower to put in the freezer for, and I made soup and uh, just I canned green beans. It's yeah. a beautiful life. It's a beautiful life. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Well, thanks again, Sharon, and I will look forward to seeing you next week. Great. Yay. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye and for now. Bye to everybody else that was here. Bye. Okay, bye.